Hi guys. Usually when I'm recording videos, I have a certain plan, certain amount of places that I want to visit and show you. But in this video, I just want to bring you this atmosphere of summer in Moscow and just to show me and my best friend how we are walking, celebrating our graduation and just everything. So please continue watching. ago we finished our university it was final presentation of our thesis and we successfully graduated but the wonderful 2020 <laughs> of graduation was cancelled so there's gonna be nothing we will just take our diplomas and that's it so in this day we decided to go to the city center and <laughs> to take a drink you know just to feel this some atmosphere of moscow and for this, we've chosen one really famous place now in Moscow, which is located in the Kropotinsk district. In summer, I'm just fond of sitting on the terrace in the Moscow city center. And here, this place you already saw this from my previous video, and you already know that this is one of my favorite places in Moscow, the Church of Chris the Savior. And the view is super stunning because you can see Stalin uh, high rises, Moscow city center, and actually all city center here, and Red Square from another side. <laughs> it's so amazing. I can't say I super advise you this place where I'm right now because the food wasn't like that well and it's quite pricey but there is another bar called Strelka and it's closer to the church and to the river it's amazing, stunning place, stunning view totally advise, I will attach all links below but now there is a new reconstruction so we decided to come here and anyway we didn't regret it it's called Wow Moscow Lounge usually it's a shisha place but now because of COVID-19 uh, shisha uh, is forbidden so anyway, we have a really nice time here. Chris, tell these people, what do you like about Moscow? I don't like Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't like uh, this rhythm. The, the rhythm of life, yes. Yeah. The yeah, it's super, it's like New York. You really all the time in motion, you're running somewhere. Yeah. So you're more like St. Petersburg. <laughs> By the way, Christina is going to live in St. Petersburg because for her, Moscow, it's too like, you know, action on it. I'm sure like more slowly, like France, I think it's for her. <laughs> well, I can't match myself living in St. Petersburg or in other, any city except Moscow because I like this rhythm. I'm running somewhere all the time. Well, I think New York is for me as well. <laughs> and I love London. It's also really like, you know, actions. Christine, what do you like about St. Petersburg? <clears throat> um, I like interesting people. Uh, because uh, I see a great in individualism in everybody. Uh -huh. yeah. Not <laughs> in everybody, but in, in most general. people. Yeah. But in Moscow, maybe the same. Maybe. But most people think the same like here. I don't. <laughs> and architecture, I like. Well, and most uh, well, Chris. <laughs> I mean, where you are sitting right now? What's wrong with this? I like uh, rainy. Rainy days. Yeah. Oh my gosh. A few days ago, told me Dasha in three a.m. or maybe it was when she was writing her thesis. She was like. Dasha, I, I was writing my thesis till 4 a.m. and there was rain, so I decided to go outside and dance under the rain. <laughs> I, it's so her style. Like, I told you about disadvantages of living in uh, Russia that I don't like greenness and weather. Like, for me, I really like sun, and now, I, well, I mean, now it's good because when the terrace, otherwise, if it's gonna be sunny, it will be super hot. But anyway, I I don't like greyness and St. Petersburg it's really great city, I think more than Moscow. And also it's raining a lot there, a lot and the weather like totally not for me. Believe me, I think not for most people. <laughs> but I just love warm weather. Anyway, in Russia everybody can find what they want. How do you like sport? 
another disadvantage of this place that there is no elevator and you have to go up by stairs. Guys, now we're in a really artistic place here in Moscow. It's called Krasny Oktober, or if I translate this in English, it will be called Red October. Red October was a Russian confectionery factory located on Bersinevska embankment, but the factory closed 13 years ago and now this place is loved by locals for its artistic character. Today you can see there many interesting galleries, museums, amazing cafes and restaurants. Red October is a place where you can do everything you want and be who you really are. They built so many restaurants, so many graffitis, but not graffiti as you can see, but for example, really amazing paintings sometimes. And a lot of Russians love to come here, take pictures. There's so many good restaurants, the one we visited already on the top. And yeah, when I was a teenager, I always come here to take, you know, some fashion picture for me. <laughs> but it's a nice place to walk because it's an island between two sides of Moscow and there are rivers all around it's super nice to walk here so I really advise to come here because that's the place where all locals are coming to When Christina don't want to go out of this place because of the music. Here is a reconstruction, but in summer all the time people are sitting here. And I was also used to do this. It's probably unsafe, <laughs> but super nice and the view is amazing. But now it's impossible because it's super noisy here. But anyway, can't wait that this to finish because it's my favorite place. And here we are going to the bird park. In fact, we didn't reach Gorky Park that day because Christina had a heavy bag, so we just walk around the Park Museum and return home to continue that celebration. By the way, when you're in Moscow, pay attention to the Krimsky Bridge, which is located next to Gorky Park. There are several very interesting museums in it, and if you go through it, there will be a small gallery inside. That's it for today guys. I didn't show you that much in Moscow, but I hope I bring you this summer atmosphere and you meet my best friend. <laughs> guys, I really hope to see you in a new video somewhere. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs>